This video is going to show you how to install Zoom L12's drivers. So if we look at the software really quick, I'm inside of Ableton Live 10. Now you'll see there is nothing in here that says Zoom driver or anything to that nature. So what I want to do is go ahead and close out of here. All right, it's important to close out of there. So whenever you install your driver, there's no issue. I find whenever I'm installing drivers or anything, the easiest way to go about finding the driver is to simply search for it. So if you type in Zoom, you know, L12 driver, you know, it should come right up. Now, right here, Zoom L12, just click into that. Right here is downloads. So generally speaking, there's gonna be a download section. Anytime you search for something like this, and you can see it's all the way down here at the bottom of the Zoom L12 page. All right, and at the bottom of the page, it says drivers Windows 10, which is what I'm running. This is actually for Windows 7, 8.1, 10. It's gonna click on that. It should start downloading. So it downloaded fairly quickly. I'm going to go ahead and show inside of the folder. Now inside the folder, there's a file that says L12 drivers win. I'm going to right click it and go ahead and extract all. I'm just gonna extract them right there. All right, click into that folder. We got the driver right here. So go ahead and make sure that all your audio applications are closed. So this goes through smoothly. All right, so go ahead and double click into here. It's gonna initiate the install process. Click your language, go to next. All right, read through this stuff and then read through your license agreement. Go ahead, click install. It's going to install that on your computer. Click finish and you should be good to go. So what I'm gonna do is just close out of these windows really fast. And now I'm gonna open up Ableton Live and just to confirm that these drivers are actually installed. All right, audio has been disabled, so we're gonna to have to set our audio. So if we go to options and then to preferences, okay, so let's go ahead and see where it says Zoom L12 ASIO drivers, where our setup, we're good to go. So if we click that, we get a few options. We can see our input configuration right there. We can see our output configuration here, and we can go to hardware setup and we can change our buffer size to whatever one that we desire. Let's say, let's just test out for 24 samples and see what our latency is for the fun of it. So let's go ahead and move this window. And you can see at 24 samples, we get a round trip latency, a 10.7. If we set it to 128, that might be more realistic for your computer. We get a round trip latency of 14.2 milliseconds. I'll do a future video about how Ableton Live shows you how to test latency because there is a tutorial in here to test latency i'll do a future video on that and i'll also do a video about how actually to get your individual inputs one through 12 from the zoom which is right over here from the zoom inside of your doll or inside of ableton live so go ahead click the tap of screen over here it's going to take you to that playlist it's going to contain all those other videos you know and then you can go ahead and check those out and remember to subscribe to the channel so you can get notified whenever I do come out with those videos. My name is Matthew. Continue creating music and we'll talk soon.